Hello everyone, it is Crafty Mama here and I am going to do a whip and chat today and whip stands for work in progress so grab your work in progress whether it be diamond painting or cross stitch or crochet or knitting whatever and join me as I say what's been going on in our household. It has been a crazy week here. Oh, and just let me show what, what we're working on today. We are working on these beautiful posies. This is the second of three kit that, of course, Marcia gave us. And they are actually sympathy um, flowers that she gave our family. And I'll explain about that in a little bit. But just wanted to show that before I get started on everything. Get my color got my tray already out and ready so it has been a crazy couple of weeks with birthdays gotcha days um holy week and then on thursday of last week so almost a full week ago my um well i'll start back on on monday my, my stepmom has not been doing had not been doing very well for several months and it was a Okay, Dad, tell us when we need to come up so we can say goodbye or, you know, just make sure we everybody gets to see everybody one more time. And Monday, we got a, a message because there's a Facebook, you know, like a chat thing with my stepmom's kids and then me and my sister in it so that they could just post one message and everybody get what they need. Saying that one of her blood levels was really high and I have a education in in healthcare so I I knew that this level was really high and he I said dad do we need to come and he said well just you know give me a couple days let me see what's all going on and all that well her breathing had not been doing good she had been on oxygen all the time for at least two I guess it's been about two months that she's been on full-time oxygen and so she you know we were waiting and on her oxygen levels were were dropping even more and Thursday I talked to my dad like Wednesday or messaged with him and he had said you know we've got a cardiology appointment Thursday and then I'll I'll tell you what's going on and what we think we need to do well Thursday, right after the the last, actually, um, my kids have their therapy on Thursdays. We just finished a um, therapy session, and we did we did a telehealth, you know, where you do it on the computer. Just because I wasn't feeling that good that day, I was having a really bad migraine and couldn't drive them to actually drive them to see their therapist that day. So I just gotten myself settled back in my recliner. I think um, I was just getting my diamond painting out and going because I, a lot of times I'll actually do my my diamond paintings and my crochet from my recliner so that I can have my legs up, which helps my fibromyalgia. But just gotten settled. My husband was working on on dinner, you know, getting all settled, and we get the text that my stepmom's gone, that she had passed away. So it's been, you know. A rough week just because we didn't obviously we didn't get up to say goodbye but um just making sure my dad's okay and getting things figured out and all of that so Marsha because she's such a great neighbor as most of you have found out that you know she is such a great friend who is there for us for all of us um in the groups that we're we all belong to she came over later that day and gave me some sympathy flowers and it is this three set of posies similar to the yellow flowers that I was working on a, um, a couple weeks ago that were her and Mr. Chad's way of sending their condolences so they gave me that to make with the idea of me making one of the three panels for my dad one for my sister and one for my family to keep and then um, she also gave, because my husband likes to paint by numbers, I've showed you some of that stuff before, gave him a paint by num numbers f flower kit to do, um, on canvas, not the hard, the hard cardboardy stuff that most paint by numbers are, 
And so he's actually got that one all finished. So thank you, Marsha, for that. And then she also had some toys and little things for the kids to do for um, when we make our car ride up to Chicago. So I want to thank her for that. Um, we are actually not going to go up for the, for the memorial service. That's going to be middle of next month, and I'll be in the middle of training for my new job. So it really isn't good timing, but we're going to go up in June for Father's Day weekend and my sister's birthday. So we'll be up then to to love on them and give them that support. Because I know a lot of times a couple weeks after everything's done is really the hardest time. So because, you know, people kind of don't think about a couple months afterwards checking in and supporting people that, have, that are going through this, through loss. So... Um, that's what's been going on. Plus, it was Tori's 10th birthday on Good Friday. So, I no longer have babies. I have two kids that are in the double digits, which I am in denial about that. Just because I don't, I don't want to think about the fact that my kids are getting older. Because that means I'm getting older and I refuse to believe that. So, it's been kind of crazy at our house. And... Sorry, I was having trouble getting that this one diamond to be picked up. And it's been kind, kind of crazy. And it has been... It has been a week. Plus, the weather here in Central Florida has... The temperature dropped a little bit again. And it's gotten... A, chilly, but, you know, chilly is all relative when you live in Florida. Um... It's not exactly swimming swimming weather for my kids right now. And it's it hasn't truly rained. It like on Sunday it drizzled all day, but it's been overcast and like it's gonna rain any time now. Kind of kind of thing. And when there's days like that when there's that moisture in the air and humidity and that kind of stuff. That just really affects my fibromyalgia. So it makes sitting sitting up sitting up and getting motivated to do things is just a lot a lot harder than when when you've got when you just hurt all, all over. So um, I know there's a couple in the group that have fibromyalgia as well. So I'm I'm feeling for you um, if you're having those rough weather days where it just doesn't make having fibromyalgia very comfortable but I have been working on my diamond painting good news is my kids are doing a little bit better with school because we do homeschool and they've just been in denial that they need to do school and no matter what I did um but they're they're getting into a little bit better of a routine and Tori is doing better on her reading because she really struggles with reading but she's doing much better on that so it has just been been crazy but la last week or the week before it actually got warm enough that the water in the pool here was not that bad it was actually quite enjoyable so they had three days where they got to go swimming um where, or where we were willing to take them my husband took them the first day then I and he just he just sat out and supervised I took them the next day and actually got in and we we had a lot of fun I I was a fish when I was a kid I was always at the pool or in the pool or you know whatever I could do to be in the water so I enjoy it when I actually convince myself that I'm gonna like it and want to go ahead and get changed into a swimsuit and all of that but you know um Matthew and I play play chase and and all of that and Tori Tori is actually a stronger swimmer even though she's smaller and she's younger so she just likes to go off by herself and you know swim back and forth across the deep end and and into the shallow end and you know she's I always keep a close eye on her but she that's her favorite thing and both of them have made little friends at the pool on various days, which is always fun when they get to play with some other kids that are close to their age. So they have had a lot of fun in the pool and cannot they cannot wait until summer when pool becomes 
a more of a routine. Sorry, I've got a I've got a multi-placer here, and I'm just trying to figure out where to go with my multi-placer. I guess my brain is just not working quite right today, and I'm having trouble thinking and talking at the same time. But I do want to get on and just at least give a little bit of a whip and chat. But so it has been. They had a lot of fun, and Sunday at church, they we went. Our church has two services, and they usually only have children's ministry or Sunday school for the kids during the second service. But because it was Easter, they were having service, um, kids service for both both services. So we went ahead and went to, to the early service just so that there would be more room for the, for people at the second service, and then we could get back and get our you know dinner and stuff going. So we had, they had a lot of fun um, being there. And last year, our church did, and actually did an Easter egg hunt. But this year, it's, um, they decided, you know, let's really focus on the true meaning of Easter. So Tori was a little sad because she wasn't going to get to do an Easter egg hunt. But then as they were leaving, they still each got two pieces of candy from from Sunday school. So they were they were happy about that and got got a little bit of the secular part of Easter in there as well and actually Saturday our complex where we live had an Easter um I guess a festival is what I called it to a lot of people so they got to go and they got to do a little Easter egg hunt there and they got some pretty cool to little little toys in their eggs from that from that hunt and they got to get a picture taken with the Easter Bunny and they had like a bounce house and a lot of different vendors and they you know some food vendor a food truck and different things like that so we just went up there for, actually just for like maybe 45 minutes Matthew wasn't feeling real good but he still wanted to go and do that so we went up and did that and so they had a lot of fun with that and so it's just been, it's been kind of crazy, but also good. Um, also sad, you know, helping the kids try to process losing grandma. And because it's, even though it's my stepmom, because my mom passed away about 12 years ago. Um, it's still the only real grandma they know. Now there's lots of people in their lives that are like a grandma figure to them. So they have that connection with other people, but the only one that is, um, a true grandparent because my mom's gone my husband's parents are both gone and you know just helping them try to process through that and you know when that happens in our house it's not tears and crying but it's it's um, anger and a lot of ways to they, they process their emotions a lot differently because of some issues that they have um, but things are starting to kind of balance themselves out now that they know the plan of you know when we're gonna go see grandpa and what we're gonna do they really they're really ones that need to know kind of know what's gonna be going on so that that's helping and it's my sister's birthday she was supposed to fly down here but we figured my dad needed us to be closer to him, especially since it's also Father's Day weekend. So we're going to go up for about a week, I think. And in the middle of that, we're, my sister is trying to get us um, where we can go away to an indoor water park, a hotel with an indoor water park to it, um, so that that will replace the fact, you know, it, we celebrate my sister's birthday there and replace the fact that we were supposed to be seeing... Um, on Disney property and doing a lot of pool time and stuff like that so the fact that we're no longer going to be staying at Disney for aunt's birthday but that we're still going to do something fun and then the rest of the time spend with my spend with my dad so and that's going to be coming up for us here in a couple months and I start a new job in two weeks training training is about four weeks long and then I can start actually making some money and hopefully being able to buy more diamond painting kits and you know help help my husband with finances and 
that stuff but I'm also hoping that I can get a really good um, stockpile of of diamond painting kits and other craft craft supplies that I've been been waiting for so those will be coming up and I did want to just say you know I haven't been on a lot a lot because of what was going on with our family but also just trying to figure out what all to present to you so I do have some works in in the making on getting some con better content more content a variety of content however you want to put it um going where where it won't be just whipping chats or just unboxings but actually some more more stuff on scrapbooking and maybe some plastic canvas stuff but right now i've got to clean my office and craft room so that i can get the appropriate things set out and organized that i want to share with you so just be patient but know that that's coming up in the works and in the meantime i will still do at least a whip and chat a week and unboxings or whatever else i have while i'm getting some of this other stuff organized and ready to share with you so there is some good stuff coming up um in the works here for for us but I do hope that you are enjoying some of the tutorials on how to do some of the stuff and my whipping chats talking about my crazy kids and they they are truly the light of my life they they are so fun to have I know um I talk about them being challenging sometimes but they really are a lot of fun and good kids so much of the time that you know they just are are my light and my pleasure and just just a lot of fun to have especially if you've got young kids or you've got young grandkids it's just they they say the funniest things sometimes and they just make you smile i mean my son matthew he's he's all into you know being on the computer he's got his own youtube channels and stuff that he watches and He'll be he'll be sitting on the couch and his, we're doing stuff. And all of a sudden, he'll just start to giggle because he either thought of a joke and he's really funny because he likes dad jokes already. So he'll he'll tell these really cheesy dad jokes and just get the whole the whole family just giggling and laughing. So it's it's a lot of fun to see their their characters coming out. And he himself is a little artist. He's actually the one that I would say has the the natural talent for drawing i can copy things or i can do like this where i've got a pattern and i'm following something but he he makes up these trading card games or these battle games like um kind of like pokemon with the pokemon trading card, um, cards and stuff like that and he and his sister will sit and play those and he'll he'll create all these cards and figure out how many points each one's going to be worth or you know whatever so he is actually quite creative in his own right he he has recently said that he either wants to be a disney a disney animator or a video game um creator so i think he'd be really good at either one of those so it's just really cool to kind of see see that come out in him and Tori Tori is creative in her own right she makes these little miniature toys in um in clay and sometimes I think I've shown one in one of my first videos but you know maybe in the next one I'll have one of her little clay creations to show what she does I am I'm not sure where she gets the idea or if she just sees these things in this in her head and goes to town or if she's copying off of something but even so just the amazing work she does with that so as a mom i am pretty proud of them for their artistic ability so it has been so fun to to watch that now and like i said tori's doing a lot better with her reading which you know is always a is a big is a big thing for for us is that to get the kids reading and trying to love books i i loved books as a child i still love to read so um it's so nice that we have a 
a library right here on in our complex that I can ride my scooter down to and that the kids look at books and they they get videos a lot too but you know the Matthew's really trying to find a couple of books that he really's interested in and Tori today read a whole book book to me today for her English class and you know I said okay this seems to be working the best because you it's not just okay seeing words or looking at you know different things but it's actually reading a story and she said yeah so this probably later the, um tomorrow or Friday I'll take her down and we'll, she'll she'll pick some books that she actually wants to read and we'll start really working on that and of course I never put enough diamonds in my tray to finish the section I'm working on either that or I put like way too many but that's why it's always good to have a tray with a spout so that you can pour them back into your containers easier and I just have to say, back on the craft things, I, I, I'm I using a, a tic-tac container um, style containers to, from this kidding up just because I had something else in my in the little jars that I normally use because I was getting things ready in case we had to jump in the car and go to Chicago. I was kidding up a kit to so that I could work on something in the car or while we were there and so I was using this one I I personally am not a big fan of the tic tac like containers I've had more problems with my drill spilling like the the top you know how you on um, and for those that don't know this is it it's called a tic tac container because it looks just like what tic tacs come in but you know you can do your pour spout and then you can take the center spout out to get it to fill easier I have had more trouble with the whole top coming out and I spilled a whole full container of a color of course on the sticky part of my canvas so that took me almost a full hour to get picked up so that was not fun but I just have them where they keep popping open and spilling so let me know in the comments if anybody else has a lot of trouble with the Tic Tac ones or maybe I just got too generic of a brand and so they're it's not they're not closing right um so I mean I really prefer the the small the small round ones with the twist lids that I norm that you normally see me using those are the ones I really prefer to have but just wondering if it's just me who does not really like the tic tac containers or if it's um if it's a, a general consensus con, consensus of that or what so just kind of curious on other people's thoughts on on that and if you have a favorite um kidding up system like the the jars or you know what let me know in the comments below so um i'm always looking for new new options of things to use and trying to get more and more as we've got got the money coming in so that i can kit up a couple of different kits and have them ready to go so okay i have got this like seafoam green for the like the weeds or the sky part all done and you know i think because i have also told the family i am going to try to do a little bit of organization on photos i still got to sort all my memorabilia and stuff from other when other people helped us move to get scrap against stuff in order so i think i'm going to get off and let you guys go about your day but if you want to be a part of my crazy crafting family hit that subscribe button um any questions comments concerns encouragements whatever put them in the comment section below and like i said kind of interested to know, know what kind of kidding up systems people people are using um whether it's one like this like the kit kat ones or the ones that have the small the small jars with the twist lids see what people people are using in their stuff and of course you can always hit that notification bell 
so then you can be notified anytime I upload a video. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple more in this week, but I'm just not sure with how life has been right now and with the weather and how I've been feeling. But I am so glad you joined me and, you know, stick around because I promise there's going to be a lot more stuff in the weeks and months to come. So just just hang out with me while I try to get things organized and get everything going. But you guys have a blessed day. Have a great weekend. I know we're halfway through the week. It's Wednesday right now. So have a blessed rest of the week. And remember, do something for you and take care of your mental health because it is so important to have good mental health. Because if you're not taking care of you, you can't take care of everybody else around you that you care about. And I mean, I know that from personal experience because of my struggles with depression and anxiety. So just take care of you so that you can take care of everybody else. And if you can, do something nice for yourself. Even if it's just taking an hour to do a craft that you love, that will help so much. You all have a great day and I'll catch you on the next video.